Hey everybody. So as you know, most 125cc bikes are air-cooled. Um, um, you know, water cooling is a really is a better option. But I've been looking into conversion kits, and they all seem pretty stupid. I mean, you have to change the head, you have to put a radiator on stuff. Well, I was thinking about it, and I found a really cheap and easy way to do a, uh, an air-to-water cooling conversion to the engine. So I'll just show you how it's done now. Give me a second. As you can see, it looks standard. There's no visible radiator. I mean, that's because there isn't one. You don't need a radiator if you want to have a water-cooled engine. All you need to do is spend about a pound, and you just get one of these, and you just, you see, you just do that. Look, it's steam coming off. It's taking the heat away. Water-cooled. It's more like a dual thing. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, this is stupid. How can that work? You can only cool your engine while you've stayed still. Not true. Look, it's got a handle on it. Perfect. So you're going along and you're thinking, God, it's been getting a bit warm now. I think that engine's probably getting a bit overheated. You take your spray bottle and you just spray the shit out of the side of the engine. And you, you know, do the other side as well. I don't want to do it unevenly. Pop it back on your bars. What the fuck is wrong with that? That's a much easier option. You might think it's a bit of a stupid idea and everything, but it, it's dual purpose because, you know, if you're getting a bit hot, you just... Oh, yeah. Oh, so much better. Oh, the cooling, just that coolingness, you know, on a hot day. Awesome. Oh, fuck. Welcome to Portsmouth, everyone. Everyone here is a complete fucking lunatic. 